Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about a game I found through my Steam Discovery queue that stuck out to me called Code 3. Code 3 is a tactical police first person shooter that is in early access. Code 3 is being developed by 109 Below, which is a small indie team based in Chicago that was started in 2017. Code 3 places you in the shoes of a patrol officer responding to various calls, such as domestics, suspicious person calls, civil disputes, and burglaries in progress. So without further ado, let's just get right into some gameplay. The game starts you off at an equipment selection screen where you can pick what you want to take with you on the level, which is nice, but I feel like making the weapon you are choosing a key difficulty mechanic is a bit odd. When you get into the game, it starts with a briefing from dispatch of the call you're going to, which conveys just how little information we as officers sometimes get when going to calls. This definitely scores some points in the realism department. You spawn into the level with one AI partner which you control with some basic commands such as follow, move, or engage. The partner AI does a decent job of acting like a sentry bot, covering your back and engaging enemy AI, but other than that, they don't serve a ton of utility. A core mechanic in this game is the dialogue options with AI. The way you interact with the AI in the game will directly affect the outcomes of the playthrough, which is incredibly interesting to see. In some cases you gain useful information which will lead you to your next step in an investigation. In others, it can cause all out chaos if you say the wrong thing to the right person. This also confuses me though, in all the missions we start off with weapons drawn out which for investigation calls rarely occurs in real life. I mean, it'd be a bit odd for an officer to have a gun out and raised when walking into an antique shop for an investigation, but that's exactly what happens in one of the levels. For a call like a civil dispute, I'm not going to have my gun out whenever I make the scene, unless there's guns involved. It just doesn't make sense. In Code 3's favor though, they have just implemented some less lethal options into the game, which is a great step forward in giving the player more options when interacting with AI. And the game does a good job of simulating less lethal effects. The taser will actually cause the AI to ragdoll, similar to what happens in real life when achieving neuromuscular incapacitation. The expandable baton is simulated correctly here as well in that good strikes to the leg will cause the AI to stagger, whereas hits to the head will be lethal. As I stated before, this game is very obviously in early access, with some issues that need to be addressed. A lot of the models are what I would describe as being SWAT 4-esque, but coming from a small developer, I wasn't really expecting too much in that department. I think the AI Partner Command's interaction system needs to be reworked quite a bit by taking a page out of SWAT 4 or Ready or Not's book with a scroll menu to give orders. The controls in general just feel off and kind of make gameplay chug a little bit, but to be fair, currently all key commands can be remapped in the options menu. And like I said before, some levels just don't make sense. In the civil dispute level, you are talking to a man who wants to be paid by his employer, but when you talk to the employer, he wants the ex-employee off the property. So you go back to the ex-employee and tell him to resolve the dispute over the phone, when randomly some guy comes out of nowhere with a gun and starts shooting. What? Of course this is possible, but just so unlikely for an unrelated individual to start a rampage at work with cops on location. It just it feels weird, and I, I think they need to flesh out the scenarios a bit more to ensure overall better realism. Overall, I think what 109 Below has created so far is the beginnings of something that could be really awesome, but definitely needs some work. To answer the question now, is Code 3 worth the $14.99 that's being sold for on Steam? In its current state, unless you are really into police simulation stuff, I can't really recommend it. However, what I will recommend is that if you want to support the dev team in their development, send them the 15 bucks and play a meh game, or better yet, support some of the charities listed on their website. Good luck 109 below, I think y'all can make this into something really good, so I'm excited to see where y'all take this. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. In our last video, we hit 1000 subscribers, which is beyond amazing to me. I never really thought I'd be anywhere near this many people subscribed to me, but here we are. So thank you everyone for being here, it means a lot to me. And as always, remember our sole objectives. Stop the killing, stop the dying. I'll see y'all later.